All right, people, look here. We have a red traveling wave moving rightward, and we have a blue traveling wave moving leftward. These two waves are identical. They have the same amplitude. They have the same wavelength. The only difference is they are heading in opposite directions. Now, make a guess. Who is the green wave? The green wave is actually the superposition of the red and the blue. Yeah, see, huh? The blue and the red combine to give us that big wave. A quarter of period later, they kind of cancel each other out. And then a quarter period later, you get a big wave. Quarter period later, cancel each other out. So big wave, nothing. Big wave, cancel each other. Big wave, cancel each other. Big wave, cancel each other. Now, can you tell me the direction of the green wave? Is it moving leftward or rightward? Ah, it's not going anywhere, right? That's why it's called a stationary wave or a standing wave. There's something quite poetic about it, isn't it? The red wave is moving rightward, the blue wave is moving leftward, but when they superpose, we get a wave that's moving nowhere. A standing wave. Okay, now let's talk about nodes and anti-nodes. Now, do you notice that at this position, there's no oscillation? It's like stuck here forever, right? Here also, here also, here also. So, in a standing wave, these are called the nodes. The nodes are positions where there's no oscillation. How come? You can see the blue and the red are always having opposite displacements here, you see? Always opposite displacements. So if you sum them up, you always get zero, yeah? On the other hand, look at these positions here. This position, you have a large oscillation, the largest amplitude among all these points here. So this is called an anti-node. So this an anti-node, 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 anti-node. And you can see how come it's an anti-node. You can see the blue and the red combining to give you a big swing here. Now lastly, notice that the standing wave has the same frequency as the two traveling waves that form it. It even has the same wavelength. And also notes that the distance between two nodes is always half a wavelength, right? The distance between two nodes is always half a wavelength. And the distance between two anti-nodes is also half a wavelength. Alright, so this is the starting point for our study of stationary waves. See you! Ta-ta!